Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching. Today we will make this beautiful two-color raffia hat. The outside diameter is 11 and a half inches. The inside diameter is 7 inches. The circumference of our hat is 22 inches and as you can see it fits right in the middle of the one size fits all. I use five spools of the white raffia that's about 600 feet or 200 yards and a size 6 or 4 millimeter hook. And I use one third of the pink spools of raffia that's about 60 feet or 20 yards. And we will make those two rounds with the pink raffia. And what I like to do with my raffia yarn before I start, I like to crinkle it up a little bit. I found it easier to crochet with it when it's a little crinkled up. Let's get started. Let's make a magic ring. Place the end in your open hand and wrap around your two fingers like an X. Turn your hand over, go underneath the right loop and pull the left loop under it. You can let go and turn your hand back over and hold the loop with your thumb. Wrap the working yarn around your finger and make a chain and you can pull or tie it. And if you like you can also make the ring a little tighter. It may be easier for you to crochet into it. Start round one. Make a chain of three. One, two, three for the first double crochet. Then make 11 more doubles into the ring around two pieces of yarn. So together with the chain of three, we will have 12 double crochet into the ring. Now we have 12 doubles into the ring and you can pull tight but be careful the raffia breaks easily so don't pull too tight. And what you can do is you can go around the ring and sew the loose end in and it tightens it up a little further. Now let's finish round one. Make a slip stitch from the back to the front Go between the chain and the first double crochet and make a slip stitch around the entire chain of three and through the loop on your hook and start round two. Chain two, one, two, then make a front post double around the chain of three. Yarn over, here's our chain of three. Go from the front to the back and from the back to the front around the entire post of the chain. Pull through the chain, pull through two loops and through two loops. Now we have the chain of two behind the front post and that counts as one stitch. Go next to the front post, in between the front post and the double crochet, in between the posts and make a double crochet. Then repeat the front post, yarn over, go around the next double, not into the stitch but in between the two posts, from the front to the back, back to the front, around the entire post of the double, pull through, Pull through two loops and through two. Then next to the front post, in between the front post and the next double, not into the stitch but underneath, in between the two posts, make the double crochet. And now you can repeat that all around. Make the front post around the next double, around the entire post, and then make a double crochet next to it, in between the front post and the double crochet. So we will alternate between front post, double crochet and double crochet. Make the front post and next to it make the double. We will have 12 double crochet at the end of the round and 12 front post double crochet. I have to make one more front post double crochet around my last double crochet. And the last double crochet next to the front post and in between the chain of three. Make a front post slip stitch, go in between the chain of two and the front post right in between those two stitches so you can move your hook freely up and down around that front post and make a slip stitch through the front post and the loop on your hook to finish the round. Start round three. Chain two, one, two, go in between the chain of two and the front post of the previous round and you can move your hook freely again 
Make the front post double around the previous front post double the chain of two is behind the front post again. That counts as one stitch. Go in between the front post double and the double, not into the stitch but underneath between the two posts and make two doubles for the increase one and two. So now we have one front post double and two doubles. Skip over the next double crochet, go into the front post double crochet and make a front post double crochet around that. Then in between the front post and the next double crochet in between the posts, make two double crochet for the increase one and two. Skip the double crochet, make a front post around the front post double crochet. Then in between the front post and the double crochet underneath the stitch in between the posts, make two double crochet one and two. Skip the double crochet, make a front post around the front post and in between the front post and the double make the two doubles. So we will have 12 groups with three stitches, one front post and two double crochet. Finish the round with a front post around the previous front post, two double crochet next to it. And skip over the last double crochet. Go in between the chain of two and the front post and make the slip stitch. Start round four. Chain two and make the front post double again in between the chain of two and the front post double of the previous round. So we have the two stitches again behind one another. Go between the front post and the double and this time make three doubles. One, two and the third one into the same space so we increase again by one double crochet. Skip two doubles, one and two Make the front post double around the next front post double crochet. To the left of it between the front post and the double, make three doubles. One, two, and three. Skip two double crochet. Make the front post double around the front post double. And in between the front post double and the next double crochet, make the three doubles. One, two and three. Skip the next two doubles, make the front post double around the front post and next to it the three doubles so we will have the 12 groups again. You probably noticed that our head shape is bending inward but as we add more rounds we will be able to bend it outward and give it a nice head shape but it will take a few more rounds. Finish round four with the front post, the three doubles and skip over the last two doubles. Make the slip stitch in between the chain of two and the front post double crochet and start round five. Chain two, go in between the two chains and the front post of the previous round and make the front post double around it. And now we will increase again. Go next to the front post and between the front post and the double and now we will make four double crochet. One, two, three and four. So we increase again by one double crochet. Skip the three doubles, make the front post around the front post double and next to the front post double make four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Make all together 12 groups with one front post double crochet and four doubles. Skip the next three doubles, make a front post around the front post and next to it the four double crochet. Finish round five with a front post around the front post and the four doubles next to it. Skip the three doubles, make a slip stitch around the front post and start round six. Chain two, make a front post double around the front post double. Next to the front post make four doubles again. So we're keeping our four doubles from the previous round. One, two, three and four. But we will still increase after you made the four double crochet chain one and that's our increase. Then repeat. Skip the four doubles, make the front post around the front post 
next to it the four doubles. And then chain one. Repeat that pattern all the way around. Finish round six with a front post into the front post and four doubles and one chain. Skip over the four doubles, finish the round with a slip stitch into the front post double crochet and start round seven. Chain two, make the front post around the front post and next to it make the four doubles again. And we only increase one more time after you make the four doubles instead of one chain, make two chains, one, two, and that's all we're doing in this round. Make the front post around the next front post, make four doubles next to it. And then after you made the four double crochet, chain two, and repeat that pattern all the way around and that will be our last increase. Finish round seven with a chain of two and make a slip stitch into the front post and start round eight. Chain two, make the front post double and next to it make the four doubles and chain two. So we will repeat the round. Make the front post double, four doubles and chain two. And now you can repeat the pattern until your head is big enough for you. I will add seven more rounds so altogether I will have 14 rounds but you can add more if you like. And I will see you in round 15 when we add a round in pink. And you can fold your head over at any time. I just finished round 10. So this is how we are going to wear our head and you just keep crocheting exactly the same way. It's just that the head's facing right side out now. When you feel like you need only one more round to get your desired length and I made 14 rounds and my head measures six and a quarter inches, then you can make the last round before we start the brim with the pink color. Leave about 12 inches for the pigtail on the pink yarn and then make a slip stitch going between the chain of two and the front post and then pull the pink yarn through from the back to the front and make the slip stitch. And I have a very big white loop here so if you have a big loop you can pull that tight too. And I will start my round 15. Chain two and I make the chain with both pieces of yarn. And then you can pull that pigtail in the front so at the end we can see that little curly pigtail on the outside of our head. So take that piece of yarn, the tail, and pull it to the front. And now you can continue exactly the same way as before. Make the front post around the front post, four doubles next to it. And chain two and you can repeat that pattern all the way around, front post double four doubles next to it with a chain of two. Finish round 15 with a chain of two and then cut your pigtail the same length as you did the first one and pull both of the pigtails to the front. And now you can go in between the chain of two and the front post double, go from the front to the back and then pull the white yarn through and make a slip stitch and we will continue with the white yarn. And now I can tie the knots in my pink pigtail so I just make two knots one and a second one just to secure the yarn and I will start my round 16 with a white yarn and now we will start the brim of our head we will start the rounds the same way we did our previous rounds chain two make a front post double into the previous front post double then next to it make four double crochet into that space so the same as the previous rounds but now don't make a chain, skip over the four double crochet, go into the chain space of two and make three doubles for the increase. One, two, three doubles into the chain space of two. So we have the front post, four doubles and into the chain space of two, three doubles. And now you can repeat that pattern. Make the front post around the front post, and next to it, four double crochet. Then don't make a chain, skip over the four doubles and make three doubles into the chain space. One, two and three. And now you can repeat that pattern until the end of the round. Finish round 16 with three double crochet into the chain space of two and make a slip stitch into the front post double crochet. Start round 17 with a chain of two in the front post into the previous front post and four double crochet next to it. 
skip over the four previous double crochet and go into the first out of the three doubles we made into the chain space of two around that first double crochet make a front post double crochet and go in between that front post double crochet and between the next double crochet and make three doubles so that's our new increase one two and three doubles Then skip over the two double crochet, go to the next front post double and repeat, make the front post double and the four double crochet next to it. One, two, three and four doubles. Skip over the previous four doubles and make a front post double around the first out of the three doubles we made into the chain space of two. Then next to that front post, in between the front post and a double, we make the increase with three double crochet. One, two, and three. Then repeat, skip the two doubles, make the front post around the next front post, make four doubles next to it, skip the four doubles, go into the first out of the three doubles, make the front post and next to it make three double crochet. Finish round 17 with a front post double crochet into the first out of the three doubles and make three doubles next to it. Make a slip stitch into the front post and start round 18 with a chain of two, a front post double crochet into the previous front post and then four double crochet next to it. Then go to the next spot where we have the front post, make the front post into the previous front post and now also increase to four doubles. So now we have the front post and the four doubles everywhere. Go to the next front post, make the front post double and four doubles into the space next to it. Go to the next front post double and make the front post with the four doubles into the space next to the front post. So at the end of round 18 we have the front post with the four doubles everywhere. Make a slip stitch into the front post and start round 19. Chain 2 and make the front post and now we will increase for the last time. Make five double crochet next to the front post then make the front post around the next front post and make one two, three, four, five doubles next to it, front post into the front post, five doubles, front post into the front post, five doubles next to it and repeat it all the way around, make front posts into all of the front posts with five double crochet next to it. When you finished your last double crochet you can pull the raffia yarn out and thread a needle, then count the fourth double crochet from the left, one, two, three, four, go through both loops from the front to the back and then tap down into the last double crochet through the back loop and that back bump. And then you can go over to the left side again and so on you loose end and now we have a seamless join. And now we can start our last round with the pink yarn. For me that's round 20. You can start the round anywhere, skip over the front post double crochet and make a standalone single crochet into the first double. You can twist the yarn around your hook or make a slip knot, but you need a loop on the hook. Go into the first double crochet and make a single crochet. Then into the next four double crochet, make four singles. And I will crochet around my loose end as well. So we will have five single crochet into our five doubles. This is the fourth single crochet. And the fifth single crochet into the fifth double. Now let's make a three chain single crochet pico. Chain three, one, two, and three. Go into those two pieces of yarn of the single crochet. They look like an arrow up or a capital A when you have them on your hook. Pull through the two loops and through two loops. And repeat. Skip over the front post double crochet and into the next five double crochet. Make five single crochet. Then repeat the three chain single crochet pico, chain three, go into those two pieces of yarn and make a single crochet pico. Skip the front post and into the next five double crochet, make five single crochet. Chain 
chain three and make the single crochet pico. Skip the front post, make five singles into the doubles and a three chain single crochet pico all the way around. Finish the round, take the hook out of your last single crochet and pull it through the first single crochet from the front to the back, then pull it tight and make a chain. And now you can sew in that end. Now we can shape our head. Let's start with the pigtails. I have some spray starch and I make the pigtails wet and then you can wrap them around anything that's round. I have a pencil handy and you can let it dry. After your pigtails have dried, you can shape the rest of your head with some spray starch. I put spray starch on my raffia head and then I have an old sun head that I used to shape my raffia head. I put that over that sun head and now I can shape it to the way I like it. And I hope you like your head too. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.